the nicest thing you can say about a garment is that you've worn it a lot and you've worn it out. And I mean, and, and to the point that you have to throw it away. And I have it with pants, uh, if that, you know, my own, sometimes jackets and things like that, certainly shoes, where they've served me well. I didn't get tired of them. They've been great. And it's now time to, they're just, they're, they're worn out. Actually, I was going to ask you, you're, this is more for my blog now. Yeah. You're a great dresser. Every Thank time you. I see you, what do you wear? Real, a real uniform. I mean, I really like dark suits. Uh, I like dark um, uh, uh, pants with with um, uh, uh, a lot of I wear a lot of blazers. I've got a lot of cashmere blazers, um, uh, and so I'll wear. But I like dark pants that are not matching. You know, you don't, can't wear cashmere pants. So I, I, I do that. But I like a lot of white shirts, mm -hmm. and I probably wear white shirts four or five days a week, four four days a week, three or four days a week. Um, uh, in the summertime, I switch over to uh, uh, white linen jackets, and I have about six of them, and I add one or two every season, every year, and, 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 and I wear uh, the you know, dark slacks and so on, tropical worsted and so on, uh, uh, you know, correct shoes, and you know, I wear a lot of Prada shoes, actually, and, and uh, um, uh, loafers and, and so on, and, uh, and I'll wear a tie and everything like that, but I love white linen jackets, you know, up until Labor Day, and then, you know, stop wearing that. Then what I'll do is I'll vary it. And one or two days a week, if I don't, if I'm not scheduled with client meetings and everything like that, I really like to wear blue jeans with a blazer and a, a white shirt, and on a very casual day, I'll wear blue jeans with a blazer and uh, maybe a polo shirt. And I don't really vary too much from that, and I probably have 10 or 12, you know, uh, uh, good suits. I probably have, going from uh, medium gray to charcoal to to black and navy, and um, uh, and I pretty much stay with it. I don't have a I don't wear brown suits. I don't wear, you know, uh, uh, whatever. I, I only wear colors of of uh, in the in the black and charcoal family and the navy family. So, uh, um, and then I, I really love a knit ties, mm -hmm. and I've almost gotten rid of all of my uh, uh, woven ties. I think that they are really really nice and people you know it's sort of it's almost like a black tie thing without being black tie mm -hmm. and and uh, uh, and I had um, meetings today so I have a, did go to Good Morning America with one of my clients this morning and so it'd be, uh, uh, we had a call at, at uh, 7 30 so you know, I, I wanted to show up and you know, that's why I'm in what you see me in right now and um, so I like that I years ago Eleanor Lambert put me on the best dress list and then she put me in the Hall of Fame which was very sweet so I'm I'm in the best dress Hall of Fame, which my and my late friend Nan Kempner used to say. But darling, we're in the Hall of the Forgotten, which is like such a riot. But it's not. I mean, it's just I've always liked clothes, and I've always think you know, it's nice. And, and I like I collect watches, and I like and I usually wear cufflinks. So my, all my shirts are French cuffs, and I. I'm, I love cufflinks. I, I, Why don't men wear them more? They're I don't great. know. I've got I've got about six or eight pair of really good. They're all. 18 karat gold with some of them even have like some have little baby rubies and all those things not too flashy but uh, but they're always 18 karat and then I've you know got about four or five really good watches and I like so and I think that that's the jewelry that a gentleman can wear I mean I don't wear rings and necklaces and stuff like that but a gentleman can get by with you know not ostentatious but good looking cufflinks and a, and a nice watch and I think a nice watch is really uh, important. And if I would if I would say that there's one investment that a guy should make, mm -hmm. a guy should get himself a nice Rolex, get himself an IWC, or or, or some sort of nice watch, and and and, and you know, or, uh, I I just got a new Cartier, with it. it's really uh, very pretty and, and mm -hmm. the deployment thing and all that, and and that that's nice. It sets a nice tone when you're having dinner and all the rest of the thing. And not that I'm just like, oh, look at my watch, but it just says that you know that's what it, it's something of quality. And by the way, they don't wear out. They, they last forever. I mean, I've got uh, a, a Rolex uh, uh, that I bought. In the 80s, I, maybe? In the 80s. And I, uh, I have it cleaned, and, and uh, you, know, you have it maintained over a period of time, and, and it, it lasts forever. So.